Let's see. Oh, there's other goodies in the box. All right, so score in the box comes this uh, Shangguan Chineseum crescent wrench or adjustable wrench, an Allen key, some more, some other zip ties. So awesome. Again, I mean, they didn't have to do that. I mean, is this the best tool? No, but is it gonna get this thing done? Hell yeah. Um, awesome if you don't have one of these is what I'm trying to say. Let's say you're an apartment dweller and this is one of the first bikes you've gotten. And it re requires some assembly. All right, and when I say some assembly required, we're about to get into it, obviously. Uh, but a lot of these bikes, they're coming because they, they don't want returns. They don't want people giving them bad reviews. Uh, not just this one, but other, you know, uh, regular pedal bikes. So they're doing a lot of the fiddly bits, the adjusting of the brake cables and the shifting mechanisms and all that. It's all being done at the factory. And they fold it up. They put the pieces that need to be uh, taken apart. They separate those so that it'll fit into a conventional box. And, and how smart are these guys? So to disguise this thing as a television at first glance is actually pr a pretty smart idea. I think it's actually a bit of like a security by obscurity or sort of a hiding in plain sight type thing. So good on them. Or, or I could be wrong. It could be just a, a design decision. Who knows? Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. Hypnotized by a spreading viral syndrome, sitting silent in a cyber prison. Eyes got spinning spiral cinema. We're spinning our lives, pretending, idolizing, idols singing. Work the simple minded jokes, joking off at the sight of women. Someone's behind. The simple instructions are basically you know, remove a bunch of uh, protective tape and all. They, again, they did a great job keeping this stuff all covered up. And it's all bicycle style items. So these. Handlebars aren't custom, you know, they're just run-of-the-mill dime a dozen handlebars for a bicycle So you can customize these and you can pull them off, you know, you could swap them out when they get broken that kind of thing You're not, you know, buying like, uh, you know, custom bits. So it looks like there's a Disconnect for the motor these wires here that come from the brakes are probably just a signal to say hey The users yanking the brakes so no point in applying torque to the motor kind of a thing so Let's plug that in. All right, so after bending one of the pins, because I came in at a funky angle trying to do this one-handed again, don't, don't do this one-handed, use both. Uh, but it's not keyed, it's just a cylinder that slides in. So you need to line up the two arrows when you're plugging this thing in, otherwise you're, you are gonna bend pins. And then I noticed it had quite a few pins in there, more than you would need for the brake, so you could get away with just you know one or two, or one on a ground. Uh, but there's also all the signaling that runs back up here uh, to your throttle. So again, the, one of the things that kept this bike's cost down is that it's just using a little Hall effect type sensor, maybe some uh, potentiometer in there, who knows. And you'll, you'll apply torque to the motor with your thumb here versus other, other smart e-bikes have a, uh, they, they would sense the torque that you're applying to the pedals and then use some sort of really, you know, simple, you know, algorithm just rules just ones and zeros uh that would say okay he's pedaling you know with this much torque and force let's give him an uh an adequate amount of, give him 30 percent of that to the wheels kind of a thing and then you could you would ramp those up so th this is shipped at a cost the, the one of the things that drives that down is just getting rid of some of the extra smarts and, and and complexity so i'm not mad about it just for putting around town or the neighborhood here or you got a little pit bike or something this is it I, I, I prefer less things <laughs> in, in the loop, uh, less things to go wrong. So let's continue to remove some of the protective film and put some pedals on it. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. 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 Now, don't let me insult your intelligence here, but... If you found this by Googling how do I put together my Super 73Z bike, uh, my Super 73 bike, uh, this might be for you. Your pedals on this side of bikes are reverse threaded so that as you're pedaling, you're not trying, you're not working the thing out. You're, you're slowly over time reseating it every time that you ride it and put a little bit of torque on it. So uh, be mindful of that when you're putting on your pedals. Go anti-clockwise, they go, it goes in. And these are a little stiff, but I reckon it's just the paint on the insides of the threads and the outsides of the threads of your pedal. Let's check over a few things here, double check our connections, make sure they're 
I don't know, it's make sure they're nice and snug on there. Uh, I'll come back. I'll come back around another time and flush cut the the zip ties. These things here, uh, if you plan on, I don't know why you'd have your hand down in here, but <laughs> uh, zip ties have the propensity to become a lot like razor blades. Uh, when people come in here and they just kind of clip it off, they they often clip it at an angle, so now you have a point, and they leave a bit hanging out. And so when you come through here, just slight, it'll just lance your your hand right open, that kind of a thing. So be kind, flush cut those if you're putting something together with zip ties. Nice details here with the 73, their logo cut into the steel here. That's very nice. Looks like there's some adjustability on the brakes to you know bring them to and fro to line up with this disc brake. Uh, they're um, cable actuated, so. Again, we'll follow these along, make sure everything's tucked up and nice before we go plugging it in or powering it on. Just decent little kickstand. Looks like there's some adjustability for tension here. Looks like they included a couple other welded zip tie stays here. That's nice. I'll de deploy those. There were some extra zip ties that came in the box. Yeah, you see here, this is the kind of stuff when you're, when you come in to, to pump up your tire, uh, do it nice and slow. This is the kind of stuff you're checking to see especially with these big fat tires, they need to be sat inside that bead and then have the inner tube inflated. So uh, I've got a bit of a bulge here, so I need to back it off and then try and reseat the tire here. All right, it might take another session of riding it around a bit, letting it settle, you know, deflate it, reinflate it, that kind of thing. Just kind of fiddle with it until it starts to line up for you and seems even all the way around. These, um, I'm not sure these are for pegs maybe for the back rider that's very nice I've, I've ordered some just i was planning on modifying something around here to get these on because I, I didn't notice these in any of the the photos from their website uh, but if it's an addition it's a, it's a welcomed addition uh, lots of options if you, for people that are tinkering with their bikes here uh, to come off you could have a another rack or something here or like i was saying what they're probably intended for is foot pegs to to come out so that you have a, a second rider they've got a place to put their feet it's not swinging them out looking like a, a weirdo so uh, you've got your on off button the charge port we'll get to that in a second uh, and then coming up here this looks like some sort of a universal mount for like a water bottle or another bracket of sorts here in the world of uh, water bottle bike accessories there are usb power banks that fit into those there are emergency kits for tires and that type of stuff that fit in that same form factor so this really opens up a lot of possibilities i'm likely going to use it to uh, indicate off of to build an extra battery pack uh, either extending off of here tucked back up underneath here someplace uh, i reckon a lot of folks are going to do that but that's just sort of the plans i've got for this thing is a uh, you got another way of draining batteries that i'm tinkering with in sort of a fun way so let's see what else we can find all right another thing that i noticed again part of that sort of pre-inspection before you're riding this thing around or hell even start charging it and using it i was checking this connection here for the, the power delivered to the motor just to make sure it's seated properly and there's nothing funky going on and wouldn't you know it we are just a blonde one from you know bumping into this thing actually now that now that it's inflated properly that's really closed the gap here um so this is just like it's someone's routing at the factory this if it ran closer to here we wouldn't have that issue so i'm going to go ahead and pull it up a bit and then maybe zip tie something right up against this meteor piece here that it has some gravity to it so pulled it through here gave it a bit of a service loop and then that got rid of the extra slack here that was rubbing up against the tire zip tied it just to keep it nice and and firm and like we discussed before let us come in and flush cut these guys all right another thing you might have to do is fiddle with this little set screw here to get the angle of the dangle quite right for your brakes for your your riding position you might want to come down low or have them out here so it's, it's all up to you but once you've got that set with the big one yeah, and for the, for the folks that need help with the, the provided tool, just come in here and loosen that guy up, swing it around to where you want it, and then tighten it back up again. But once you've done that, your thumb position is going to be, it might be off from where you want it. And you don't want to have to be reaching up here to get it every time. And if you plan on riding full throttle, find a position that's natural where you're going to have your thumb do this. I mean, even that, that's painful, right? Like to reach back all the way up to here and do that. So my preference would be to spin this thing down and to do so you're going to need there's a tiny set screw under here so we'll come in there we go so now i come in here 
Oh, it's also it's also angling the display down towards you, so maybe it's supposed to be set down here. And for you sickos at home. Uh, these definitely have a good feel in the hand, as they say. Uh, they didn't chintz out. These are all metal construction here with a over molding of, uh, or maybe a, in, like a screwed in separate piece of rubber on this piece here. So that feels really nice. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something they didn't have to do at this price point, but it's nice to see. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. Get mad. Subscribe and stay tuned if you want to follow along as we accessorize this bike and make it our own.